safe. Actually, I was walking around every night uh, around different hutongs and I think that it's okay. I, d I didn't have any problem here. In terms of safety, like, I felt very safe the whole time I've been here. I know some of my friends have experienced like um, small things being stolen, but in terms of feeling like wherever I go, I'm protected and there's no threats to my safety, like, I felt pretty good about it. When I walk around at night, I feel generally safe in China. I think um, in other places, I would probably feel more concerned, but right here, I feel safe. Uh, well, in my experience, Beijing is a very safe city. Uh, you know, much more so com than compared to uh, the countries in the West that I've lived I think in. It's overall a safe place because everywhere there's like the CCTVs and everything, and even in the bus. Like in my personal experience, like once I, you know, like uh, forgot my bag with my passport and my laptop in the bus, local bus. But I found it anyway with only maybe two or three calls, like in the bus. So I think it's a safe because considering other countries, like especially my country, if you lost something in the public bus or public vehicles, then you it's like not possible to get. I mean, our risk rating hasn't changed uh, in China for, for many years. Uh, the fact is that uh, there, we, we didn't notice any dramatic, massive uh, uh, affecting uh, threats of a presence in China. Like, uh, like terrorist and, or massive shooting or killing incident, it is generally absent. Kidnap ransom, extreme violence uh, and kind of scenario is also rare in China. Uh, also, we have to think that the infrastructure improvement in China is very quick, so that significantly improves the road condition as well. Um, another thing that contributes to the low risk rating is that the, the Chinese law enforcement agency, police, and it's very robust and effective. They maintain a good control in public order, so make all the travelers coming to this country feel very safe.